Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum uh, So today I'm going to continue with the next knowledge representation Okay, uh, we have looked into production roles And then also semantic network Now we continue with the object attribute values So what is object attribute values? Object attribute values is a representation uh, to overcome disadvantages of semantic network. As you can see here, uh, semantic network, uh, we use a non-standard definition of the link names. And LAV, uh, we can simplify uh, the semantic net okay, uh, by using a form of tables. Alright, we can put everything in the tables and later on con uh, translate this uh, into a computer code using the rules. Okay, and we use these uh, object attribute values. Okay, if uh, the objects uh, use only single objects and no inheritance involved. Okay, right. Let's look at example of object attribute values. Okay, in this sentence, I have. The color of the ball is red. Okay, so the object is ball. The attributes that we are going to describe is the color. So this is the attributes. And then the values of the attribute is red. Okay, so how do we represent this? Okay, the object is usually a circle or oval. Okay, and Sorry, the object is a circle or oval. Alright, the attribute usually will write it uh, on top of the arrow or arc. And then the values is in a rectangle. Okay, so it will look like this. Okay, mm, Sam is an object. The attribute is, is a or the relationship. So it's similar with the semantic networks. And then the values is student. Okay. So, we can have uh, multiple values for the attribute. So, in your case, for example, okay, Sam, okay, you can change it with your name, okay, is a student and also is a working staff. Okay, you can write you are a technician or you are a manager or a businessman and etc. At the same time, you can say you are uh, a daughter, a son or a husband or a wife. Alright, so one object can have uh, multiple values for single attributes. Okay, so come back again to the first sentence. Okay, uh, the the color of the ball is red. Okay, so we have this ball and the color is red. Okay, how to represent a multiple uh, values? Okay, so this is a description of a ball okay so we have a ball where the radius is 15 centimeter okay we don't have multiple values right one ball can only have one radius okay uh, but it's different if you have a balloon ball okay maybe if you uh, blow it small so you can have a radius about 15 centimeter if you blow it more it become 11 centimeter uh, 15 sorry 15 centimeter if you blow it more it become 15.5 centimeter radius if you blow it to the maximum, you can have 16 centimeter, for example. I don't know. Okay, and then color. Okay, you can have two, three, four, or more colors. Okay, because ball can have multiple colors, right? But look at the football. Uh, they use in a FIFA. Okay, or the best example is if you look at your kids' ball. Okay, children's ball usually is a colorful ball, right? Okay, and we can also have a uh, attribute for ball which is weight. Okay, we have five hundred grams. Usually, uh, we only have one value for weight. Okay, um, or maybe you can have two weights. Okay, uh, five hundred gram dry or seven hundred gram if it's wet. All right. Now, how do we translate this into a table? Okay, so. Uh, this is uh, another another example of OAV. Okay, so we have a list of items here. List list object. Uh, you have object house. Okay, and object house has two attributes, which is bedroom and color. And bedrooms has 
uh, many values. One house can have two or three or four bedrooms. Uh, similar with color. We can have green, white, brown. Okay. Admission to university. Uh, you have grade points. And that is the pointers. Okay. And then inventory control. As, as well as the bedroom itself. Okay. You can have attributes. And these are the values for the attributes. Alright. So, in the same uh, page, okay, you will see one exercise whereby I give you an image and you have to describe all the objects in that image. So, please, uh, you can represent it, okay, using this uh, representation in a table or you can also create something like this. Okay, so if you have five objects in that image, so you have to have five circle or oval. Okay, so what is the advantages or disadvantages of object uh, attributes values? The, ob the advantage can be combined with other objects to form more complex facts about the world, okay, or about the problems that you want to represent. Okay, disadvantages, it limited uh, ability to explain knowledge uh, and it, it reduces usefulness in the expert system. Okay, so take a look at the exercise that I give. Uh, try it out. Okay, you can discuss with friends, and you also you can discuss it during the tutorial, and then we can continue with frames. Thank you.